Hello guys, welcome back to NRCalc video tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will go through a combined footing. So under calculations, I will just select add and in here I will go for combined footing. I will select that. So once this window opens up, basically I will have my F dash C as 3000 and I mean this is for my foundation the compressive strength of concrete my FY will be 60 KSI elastic concrete modulus is calculated from for this 3000 KSI and these values will be constant my minimum percentage of steel will be 0 0.0018 next thing going to soil values let's say I have 6 KSF soil so 6 KS per square foot is my bearing allowable soil bearing this will remain the same and let me apply some loads so that you can see that these things whatever we have not working I'll say 500 kips dead load 500 kips live load twenty five twenty five on one column and on the column number two we'll have five hundred kips and let's say two fifty kips this will keep at thirty say minus thirty say plus thirty so these are just some random loads that I'm applying right now just to show you how it's done so anyways when you do it you will have your own loads and your own moments that come from the columns above all the way to the bottom now going so you can see in load combinations you have all types of load combinations so soil pressure combinations stability combinations and lrft load combinations so you will, your design will be done for these combinations so footing and sizing footing size and reinforcement as you can see the drawing on the right hand side you have uh, bars on your left and on your right and in between there is reinforcing in between on both the ends so first what we have is distance left of column 1 so this distance let's say it is 8 feet and distance right okay distance between columns let's say it's 16 feet and distance right of columns is 8 feet so basically this is that all we uh, design like we just put some numbers I mean you design a st spread footing and you understand like how the values might vary let's say footing width is 16 feet Footing thickness I'm gonna keep 18 inches for now. Footing base depth below soil surface let's say from 8 feet. And this is important guys pedestal dimensions like if you ignore to give pedestal dimensions then your load will be directly applied on the footing slab I mean combine, combined footing slab but if you have pedestal the load is spread more on the footing which in turns is spread more on the soil so if you just have the column then the load goes onto the footing which is spread onto the soil and the spreading isn't that effective but when you have a pedestal the load distribution is very much bigger when compared to without one so let's say I have some pedestal of 36 by 36 inches height doesn't matter in this case and 
rebar center to concrete edge at top and rebar center to concrete edge at bottom will be 3 inches that's sufficient for now so as you can see uh, there are still these values which are failing so what we'll do is first we'll go to reinforcing and let me change this to number 9 because number 9 has one dia bar I think so it's easy to understand like how much like this over here 20.056 inch square so I'll just enter 21 over here and my total number will be satisfied so as you see there similarly 29 and 15 so yeah we have passed these members this uh, factors as supplied is more than as required but if you see this one way shear one way shear two way two way these haven't passed so let me just increase this to number six sorry to total number of six so there it isn't going anywhere let me change all of them to 10 all right now let's do one thing call this as 12 say this as 18 and this 15 so it doesn't make much change so let us go to dimensions now this is kind of trial and error method so let me change this to 24 and see if anything passes looks like much of it so we are only remain with four of them let me go with footing width as 18 feet and let's say we have nine feet and nine feet on each side or we can make 10 feet on this and 8 feet on this and let me go this to 30 inches all right so we just have two weapon shear and flexure let's make this to 42 by 42 okay we are almost nearer to the capacity required let me go into reinforcing and see if we can do anything so flexure like at column 1 Alright, go in here and say 36 inches. So once you say 36 inches, two way punching is passed. I mean, if you have it 32 inches, let's say, and it's still passing, which is good. Now we are remain with this flexure left of column one, bottom. All right, let's say this changing this to six feet. How does it affect? There you go. See, let's change that to six feet. Wow, that looks good. So, this is how you do the design and analysis of a combined footing. You just provide the minimum required quantities of your rebar.
from that song and dimensions you change you make sure you have provide correct dimensions it's like trial and error method but if you know if you have some experience around footing you can like make it out how much uh, distance you need left of to come footing one and footing two like depending on the loads if you have heavier load and if you have lighter load so anyways guys this is how you do a combined footing in an air calc thank you for watching the video if you have any questions about this video please comment below i'll be very much happy to answer you thank you for watching the video guys